Hello, it's been a while since uh, my last video. So we're going to try and solve this equation now. We've got this coming from the additional maths paper of the June 2021. Solve the equation cot of 2x plus pi than 3. Um, actually, this should be, yeah, that's okay. Pi than 3 minus root of 3 is equal to 0. First thing what we need to do is um, we're going to try and use the um, equivalent of this. That's going to be then 1 over tan of 2x plus pi of 3. And all of that is equal to, this can go on the other side, the square root of 3, and we end up with tan of 2x plus pi of 3 is equal to the um, 1 over root of 3. And if you do that from your calculator, 2x plus pi of 3 is equal to the tan inverse of 1 over root 3, basically ending up as 5 and 6. Now from here we've got uh, 2x plus pi open 3 is equal to 5 open 6. Now where do we go from here? Remember the um, domain has been given as this. Yeah. Um, what I want to realize is that um, if you have an angle, and basic angle here, 5 and 6, and um, we're looking for pi and 6. Let's say, for, for instance, from 0 to pi. So basically, this is one angle, 0 to pi. But if you were to look for, let's say, minus 2 pi, less than 2x, less than 2 pi, then, of course, you're going to go into this quadrant here. And the next angle you get is this, which is um, pi plus this, and that's 7 pi. Open six. So our second angle will be 7 pi open 6. Remember we have two cycles, all right, within 360 degrees, within 2 pi. So those two cycles means that um, you need to add on, to get back to this angle here, you need to add on to those two values, all right, if you have um, 2x plus pi open 3, you need to add plus or minus y minus because we have a minus 2 pi here all right so plus or minus 2 pi basically what it means if you rotate uh, one more time you're going to get back to this angle let's say your angle is here and then you rotate one more time you go back here 360 degrees that's 2 pi basically if you want to get in here for the second angle you do the same thing you rotate 360 degrees and you come back to this here to this angle here so basically now we are going to add a minus y minus like i said there's a minus two pi so you can rotate in the anti-clockwise direction so you have your angle here five and six if you rotate in the opposite direction 360 degrees you're going to fall back into the same quadrant and that leads you to the same angle there so basically now what we have is pi up in 6, okay, plus the 2 pi, all right, so if I do this, um, pi up in 6, all right, okay, plus 2 pi, I'm going to get 13 pi up in 6, and if I minus 2 pi, okay, so um, I get minus 11 pi up in 6, I get 13 pi up in 6, and that's for this angle. For this angle now, we can try 7 pi over 6 and add 2 or minus 2 first of all, and that's going to lead you to minus 5 pi open 6. The next one you've got is uh, 7 over 6. All right, now you're going to have to add on 2 pi, so add on 2, 19 over 6 pi. Now, from here, of course, you're going to send the pi open 3 on the other side. You subtract pi open 3 from each of these angles. All right, so taking into consideration pi open 6 minus pi open 3. So I've got pi open 6 minus pi open 3, and then minus 11 pi open 6 minus pi open 3. You can do the same thing uh, 13 pi open 6 minus pi open 3. Got minus five pi open six 
and this five to three, and finally, 19 pi and then six minus pi to three. So let's do each and, uh, each and every, every one of these. So you will end up with x is equal to, so first one is minus five and six. Second one is Okay, minus 13 pi and 6. Just to try to check this one again. Okay, that's good. Then you've got this one here. That's 11 over 6. And you've got um, it's minus seven over six in the pi there. Okay, so nineteen over six minus one over three. So that's 17 over 6. Right. Okay, so what we need to do now is we realize this is the two rotations here, two cycles, so we divide by 2 everywhere. So you can divide by 2, cancel this out, and divide the whole thing by 2. And you end up with uh, these answers. Uh, so x is going to be equal to Minus 5 and 6 divided by 2 is minus 5 and 12, which is acceptable because minus 5 and 12 is within pi and minus pi. Then minus 13 pi over 2 is going to be minus 13 pi over 12. Now this one can be rejected because it doesn't fall within this. It's outside the domain. And this one you divide, it's going to get 11 over 6 divided by 2 is 11 over 12. Your pi, this one is acceptable. So this is okay, this is okay, this is fine too. Minus 7, 6 is a minus 7 over 12 pi. And then you've got this one here rejected because you got 17 over 12, which is more than 1 pi. 17 over 12 pi is more than 1 pi outside the domain, so that's rejected. And uh, so we've got 1, 2, 3, another one there should be. Um, Yes, the other angle that uh, we mistakenly forgot to take this one here is 7 pi and 6. That should have been included there. So let me just put it anywhere. We've got 7 pi over 6. And take this one minus 1 over 3. So 7 over 6 minus 1 over 3. You end up with 5 over 6. So 5 over 6 pi. And of course, um, if you get 5, 5 over 6 pi should be here. 5, or 5 pi over 6, take that and divide by 2, you should be able to get 5 pi over 12. So all these angles are perfectly within the domain of minus pi less than x less than pi. Acceptable. Take care.